Bodang Sarenang Gacami Damang Sarenang As you chant the Pali, you can feel the kind of vibration, internal vibration of the organ, okay? That bring about a good feeling, you know, to the body. Okay, now we look at the second one. Let's spread the loving kindness. I think this is okay. Long, huh? In our Buddhist practice, we used to chant. And then the very famous uh, verse is what? Sabe Sata Avera Hontu, right? Of course, Sabe Sata Sugi Hontu. But Sabe Sata Avera Hontu, Hontu. Sabe Sata Anigha Hontu. Abhya Paja Hontu. Suki Atana Pariharantu. Of course, our people have done. Uh, uh, research on this Pali chanting. In fact, the Pali chanting is not just only chant, you know, you have to chant with the five sounds, okay? Articulation, right? Like Buddhang, Saranang, Buddhang, Saranang, Gachami, you know, they kind of, mm, like that. Dhammang, Sarana. As you chant the Pali, you can feel the kind of vibration, internal vibration of the organ, okay? That bring about a good feeling, you know, to the body. If your chanting doesn't bring any vibration, isn't it? Yes, isn't it? So you really have to put a feeling to it, not the feeling, the articulation, the five sound. Okay, and you also have the aspirate sound. You don't say like Buddha, 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 Buddha is Tara Rasa. You have to say Buddha. Hmm. Come on, Tom says you are. Dhamma, Sangha. You have the aspirate sound, you see. So you see this kind of, and then you also have another sound, it's called the nasal sound, right? Like, hmm. Like, Bud, Buddha. Saranang Dhammang Saranang Okay, or oh, Iti Piso Bhagava Arahang Sama Sambuddha oh, If not, na Tadu Rasa Okay? And what else? Like, is it very simple? Namo da sabhagavato arahato samma sambun dasan. Okay? So when you chant like that with a proper articulation with the five sound, then you can see after your chanting, you will experience immediate peace. Huh? Like when you are doing chanting, that vibration is like bringing about the gentle massage to your body. Okay? And, and different, different sounds that bring, um, you know, the corresponding, the, the, the internal organ. Okay, so this is one thing, right? When, when you, uh, we do this, uh, uh, you know, this loving kindness spreading, right? Make it as part of your, uh, practice like the Buddha says other than anapanasatis, you know, in and out breathing, right? We have this Chaturraka Bhavana for protective meditation. Okay, one is the uh, uh, loving kindness, metta bhavana. Okay, it's very powerful, right? Make it as a habit, right? Make it as a habit, the inclination of the mind, right? Um, so as you chant like this, okay. Then, or even uh, the very first thing when you wake up in the morning, right? You look at the mirror, you smile. May I be well and happy. Ahang averro homi, abhya pajo homi, anigo homi, suki atana pariharami. You can recite that and then smile. Okay. 
Uh, that's why in Brahma, we, every room we have mirror. <laughs> Other temples said, no, don't attach. But we said, this mirror is not used for attachment. This mirror is the reflection of whether you smile that day or not. <laughs> right, you look in the mirror, you smile at it, and then you feel joy is whole day. Isn't it? Because people don't smile, right? So, so you smile, you know, tend to smile. And then another one is sharing marriage. Okay, this is the ones that we, we talk about, right? And when we talk about the Patidana, Idame Nyati Nam Ho Tu Sukita Hontu Nyatayo, right? So we are sharing the marriage with all the beings, right? Who are visible, invisible, staying far or near, okay? And every day, right? So if we are doing this marriage every day, it can double the marriage. Okay, don't think that I do. Oh, lim do, no, 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 rasa, okay? That if you think like that, that is really no rasa, right? You have to really make an effort to feel it as you are doing, as you are dedicated marriage. You feel that all oh, the being, you know, all your ancestors, you know, uh, rejoice in the marriage making ceremony. Okay, but after doing all these things, you feel so much joy in your practice. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Tio bo. Okay, and yeah, then another one is maintaining the right mindfulness. Okay, yeah, right mindfulness. Oh, um, yeah, at least, um, you know, as you practice uh, the mindfulness, your mind becomes stronger, right? Then, if your mind is stronger, then whatever, uh, your mind won't easily get distracted, also. Okay, so your mind is very strong, and then uh, when your mind is strong, also, I believe you also have compassion. Right? Because that comes naturally, right? And you see, when you have this, uh, you know, mindful and then settle in the kindness and the compassion, right? Then eventually your mind also brighten up, you see? And, and then, of course, when your mind is brightened up, it is very difficult for these outside forces, right? To come and in, to invent, and to invent you, okay? And then, of course, the non-human, also cannot harm you. The reason people easily, you know, attacked mm. by these non-being is because their mind is so weak. They have so much fears in your mind. So if you are stronger, huh? your mind making your mind stronger, then these external forces will come to your, your mind. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I tell you a story. When I was young time, I knew nothing about Buddhism. I thought Buddhism is to in, to interfere with the God, right? Uh, to interfere with the spirit. So you see, our group of Buddhists, every day we were very keen, you know, to recite the Mahana Sutra, Tai Pi Zao, you know. You see, of course, many of them has the ability to interact with the evil spirit. But I don't have that opportunity. Even I myself, that time, after my form tree, I think 16 years old, I went to the forest, you know, I practiced also very hard because I, I want to interfere. This evil spirit, because I thought that interfering with this evil spirit is the highest achievement of your Dharma practice. At that time, I was very distressed. And then I gave up all these things and I turned to, uh, you know, I went to Mahayana Fo Kuang San uh, and observed my five precepts and this, what I call the Bodhisattva as well. But before that, I practiced all this. Lim Gori Chao Yu, Lim Do Le, Yang Kan Le Kong Gori Soi Hoi Kuan. <laughs> I was looking at it, <laughs> and I look at the lane, you know, I'm oh, sorry, all this English, <laughs> Chinese. But no, yeah. So I was very, very distressed, you know, what is it called? Disappointed, yeah, very disappointed. You see, my, when I was young, it's completely a very wrong practice. But anyway, I'm, I consider myself very lucky because I don't have chance, you know, to to associate with all these evil spirits. They are, they are here in our surrounding. If your body is strong, if your energy is strong, you know, all these non, uh, what do you call the non-human, they won't come and harm you. Yeah. At that time, imagine 16 years old, I stay alone in the forest for two months, for two weeks. Then you may ask, you know, how I survive in the, in the forest. I brought two weeks food to the forest. <laughs> <laughs> No, anyway, I'm very serious in my pra practice. To me, I'm still young, ma, huh? 
So I believe I can interact with the God. Then I consider myself as success. You see? If not, then I feel very, very disappointed. But anyway, it's still very disappointed. I don't have... Uh, the only thing at night, you know, when the wind blows, uh, I, I have that scared. Uh. <laughs> I think because of my past karma, my, my past karma, my past karma prevent me from associating, you know, all these evil spirits. Then another one uh, is taking three refuge and the five precepts. Okay, so make it a habit every day in the morning. If you set up an altar, Buddhist altar, right? Uh, yeah, you can just recite yourself uh, Panchasila. Uh, and the uh, and punches every day, right? So, and then in that way, you can accumulate the good merit day by day and strengthen, and then you know you'll be free, uh, you know, from all these uh, uh, evil spirits.